I have not received an apology from the police department or the city of Cleveland in regards to the killing of my son. And it hurts. I'm Marion Gray Hopkins and my son was Gary Hopkins Jr. who was murdered by the police, unarmed, no drugs, no alcohol, at the age of 19. My name is Valerie Bell. I'm the mother of Sean Elijah Bell. He was shot 50 times by New York City Police. She's out for her. Just graduated on his way to college. We got a plan of him. That's my firstborn son. He didn't deserve it. A time for remorse would have been when my husband was yelling to breathe. That would have been the time for him to show some type of remorse or some type of care for another human being's life. When he was screaming 11 times that he can't breathe. I seen a, a young man, helpless, shot for no apparent reason. Um, I saw my nephew shot by a man clinging to his life, you know, and it, with, with no help. It, it, it was the most horrific thing I ever seen in my life. We hear about things like this happening all the time around the United States and the world, you know, people being harmed and abused by people that we're supposed to trust with our lives, people that are supposed to protect serve and serve. protect us. And they, they tend to be our executioners and judges and murderers. They keep asking me why I'm mad. I'm angry at a system labels black boys, soldiers, and white boys, victims. White girls are wholesome and black girls are vixens. So when the triggers pull, the skin color is the condition that defines if it's a killing. Cause it ain't really murder when melanin's involved, you're not considered a person. Black kids rehearsing how to be emasculated, stopped by cops. In front of a liquor store in a vacant row home, staring down through cracked glass from windows. And little girls with bullet wounds playing a Nintendo handheld console. I can't hold a hand and console a little boy who be killed like a man. Well, that's what the stats say. Uncomfortable facts that black lives only matter when we're playing halfback. Black lives matter when the culture is co-opted. Black lives matter when campuses make a profit. We are the entertainers who are conveniently black. When it comes to a dance or the hairstyle, but when it's time to advance, something beyond a bank account, they remain silent because that ain't what they think about. Black kids rapping like confetti, it's a celebration. They used to lynch us, but now they kill with legislation. Do I wanna live in this imperfect union where we collect high bills of police shootings? It's documented evidence, even worth pursuing. It's just as a novelty, is it worth a movement? I speak to you through music. Expressing this impotent rage, anger feeling like this confrontation's imminent. Sickened by the national critique, they oversimplify. Black frames littering in the streets are always vilified. Crucified a victim is the symptom of a racist system. We're from chattel slavery to capitalism. The U.S. Justice Department has concluded that police and city courts in Ferguson, Missouri, routinely engage in a pattern and practice of discrimination against African Americans. Anger and frustration, and they feel that the police force in this neighborhood doesn't stand up for their rights. Only knows how to arrest them charged for killing unarmed black men and that's the way it is. Samia Rice murdered no Miranda Given. George Zimmerman consulted after his killing. Police took statements from the citizen who took a life but took the life of Eric. It's apparent he's a different type of human. No illusions where the line is drawn. You're a black girl standing in front of your neighbor's lawn. We're all at black girls. And children lose their innocence within the birth canal. We're born without the privilege of presumed innocence. We live in a United Nations state with sublimated hate. Keeps us divided. This country tested syphilis so on as black citizens. And it's still the same country that blacks are living in. Black cats been and I can't breathe. On posters, marching on MLK, singing how I got over. Now we got soldiers playing war games in residential communities with a lead from a school pencil. It's less common than a lead from a smooth pistol brand. Distressable servants who are likely to kill you. White kids rioters, youthful exuberance. Black kids rioters, the thugs who are doing it. Black kids riot when an unarmed teen is shot. White campuses riot because the teen missed a shot. I'm talking about conditioning and how blacks are made to feel guilty for the lynching where animals are perpetrated. All of these atrocities remain the blameless benchmarks of civilized society. With traffic stops, African American motorists are twice as likely to be searched when pulled over, even though searches of white drivers are more likely to turn up drugs. To all the terrible, awful things that have happened in this area, Freddie Gray has, has, has lit a fuse. When black and brown people commit crimes, we call, we, we note their race. 
race. And when white people do, we don't know their race. He's the only one dead. The one that you're looking for justice for was the one who was victimized. The victim here was clearly Freddie Gray. It's okay to condemn a racist sheriff in Alabama, but not us, please. Don't touch our privilege and power. The majority of mass shootings are caused by white men, but we don't say we have this epic problem of whiteness. White supremacy in the United States was even more extreme and savage than in South Africa. I mean, these are camps that could have impressed the Nazis. Change comes when people stand up, speak unpopular truths, and are willing to take real risks um, in the name of justice.